Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do an After Dark reading. This After Dark reading is for um, Divine Feminine versus the Karmic. So today is Wednesday, it's February the 8th, so my After Dark reading hours is from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next day. So I go by Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you guys go by a different time zone, then you can apply the timing according to your time zone or however you see fit to apply the timing. But I go by Eastern Standard Time. So um, keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest after our hours tonight. It can manifest later on down the line in time. After tonight, if this present reading... I mean, also, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So, I'm going to just go ahead and jump right in. Um, I didn't get any messages on the pre-shuffle, so I'm going to show y'all what's at the bottom of the deck. The decks. All right, so we got the lovers. At the bottom of this deck, we got, you have the gift of courage. We have evil eyes. Someone is wishing ill intent on you. At the bottom of this deck, we got beauty. We got shine, love, shine, love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. All right, so we got the five of wands. Some type of conflict, competition, some type of ailment. Then we got memories at the bottom of this deck. Memories. I am creative, 111, at the bottom of that deck. And then we got the 12th house, Pisces, at the bottom of this deck. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I also want to say collective, Um, not only are you a miracle one that's on its way to you as well. Because when I turned on the video, that card dropped, fell out of this deck right here. And I had clicked on a video. So I just want to say that to you to you guys as well. Um, Divine Feminine and Order Karmic. So you were born to be a legend. All right. So let me put you guys an angel number. What's Divine Feminine's angel number? Also keep in mind as well that the karmic may or may not be your karmic. And the karmic could be a male or a female. As well, the karmic can also be some type of devil energy. Some type of devil energy. The karmic could be drugs, a drug addiction. It could be a demon, a dark entity. Some type of devil energy. If the karmic is not a person. Alright. Also, divine feminine. The divine feminine um, energy can also resonate with the divine masculine or man. If he's in his feminine energy... Um, Pertaining to the reading, pertaining to the energy. So, again, I'm reading for Divine Feminine. I gear my Divine Feminine readings or energy towards females. But, you know, because this is tarot, timing is fluid, energy is, you know, timing is fluid, energy is fluid. So, Divine Feminine's reading can also be for men if he's in his feminine energy. So, keep that in mind as well. All right, so... What's the line from this angel number for after the hours tonight? Excuse me. All right. I am confident. 13. It say, you are a conscientious worker with the knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. So the line from you're confident after the hours tonight. About a person, place, or a thing. You're confident about something. Your angels got you in that energy. All right. What's the karmic's angel number for after the hours tonight? What's the karmic's angel number? All right. We have harmonious number 20. So the karmic is harmonious after dark hours tonight. It say you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. 
You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. So divine feminine, the karmic could be being harmonious towards you or about you. Divine feminine, if the karmic was coming up against you in the past or in some type of disagreement or in some type of disarray pertaining to you, um, they might stop at the dark hours tonight and get in this harmonious energy. Yeah. So um, I decided not to do a love portion for this after dark reading. I'm not going to do a love reading. Um, uh, let me put you guys a message from the stars. So... What's the mindset of this message from the stars for after dark hours tonight? Okay, it says feel and release. Release all release all you've accumulated on this journey. So intuitively and off the rip, divine feminine, I picked up you know this karmic and whatever um however you're connected to this karmic or have however you know this karmic. <laughs> Divine Feminine, you could have had some type of past um, beef or disagreement or whatever with this karmic. Divine Feminine, I'm picking up. You can let it go because this karmic is letting it go. So what, whatever type of past offense um, between you and this karmic, Divine Feminine, you can let it go. Um, I'm not going to say you can trust the karmic, but as far as not trusting the karmic, you can let that go or... Whatever, whatever you have accumulated, it could have been hate, it could have been fear, it could have been whatever, because of your interaction with the karmic, you accumulated something, and it could have been negative, but um, what I picked up off the rip when this card came out was Divine Feminine, you can let it go, because this karmic is leaving you alone after the hours tonight, um, but that, that, what I picked up, what I just spoke on, it don't have to, own, it, that doesn't have to be the only scenario, but that's what I heard when, when this card came out. So, fill and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. So, Divine Feminine, you've been on some type of journey with this karmic. This karmic could be your soon-to-be ex. This karmic could be an old friend. This karmic could be a family member, a friend, a neighbor. Um, so, some type of journey you and this karmic been on. And you can release it. Whatever you accumulated between you and this karmic. Fill it and release. Or it could just be just in general. Divine Feminine, you will know more than me what the stars is telling you. So the stars want you to fill and release. Release all you've accumulated on this journey. All right. What's the karmic's angel number? I mean, what's the karmic's message from the stars? All right. So we have 23. Past life emotion lives in you. You are expressing more. It is releasing. So you and this karmic is releasing. So you and this karmic could know each other from a past life, whether you guys are aware of it or not. Um, for those of you who are familiar with my channel, um, you guys probably already know, I don't too much entertain the past life um, theories or um, I, I just, I'm not going to call it a theory. Me personally, I just don't elaborate. I don't get into past life energy. Um, so to me, past life to me is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago. So past life to me is every decade, every 10 years. <laughs> so divine feminine, you could have known this karmic for the past 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. Yeah. Some type of past life emotion lives in you and the karmic need to release it as well. So divine feminine, you and this karmic could be forgiving each other or y'all could be physically going y'all separate ways. Or some type of forgiveness or something. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up. You could have offended this karmic in the past. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. And this karmic all this time was still holding on to it. And the karmic might let it go after the hours tonight. So it's like basically the karmic probably needed to forgive you. For something you, you could have did a long time ago. The karmic could have been holding on to a grudge or something. But the stars want to tell the comment, past life emotion lives in you. 
The karmic is expressing more. It is releasing. So I don't know, divine feminine, this karmic, you could have offended the karmic in the past and the karmic could have put you, put a hex or something on you. Or something like that. The karmic could be taking somebody out of a jar or something. Um. Yeah, but those of you who, you know, those of you who um believe in past life and things like that, um, you and this karmic knew each other in y'all past life. And y'all could be paying down karmic debt um, in this lifetime. That's what's going on after dark hours tonight. You guys, both of y'all could be done with some type of karmic cycle or paying down some type of karmic debt. Yeah. So, both of y'all are releasing something. Or y'all could just be releasing each other. Alright. So, what I'm going to also do too... I'm going to pull two cards from this deck. This is my um, changing deck. Things that you... Um, I hate when I can't talk. This could be changes that you guys um, is going to experience or might experience. So what I'm gearing this um, deck towards after dark hours tonight is um, Divine Feminine and the Karmic. These are changes that you guys can expect. Excuse me. Because of your... Whatever's going on after dark hours tonight. Um, I think I'm going to wait. Let me do that last. Because I'm going to put on your overall energy um, first. And then I'm going to see what type of changes you guys can expect because of your overall energy. Um, yeah, so sometime this week, some type of changes you can expect for whatever's going on after dark hours tonight. Um, what I picked up intuitively during the pre-shuffle is... Whatever is going on with you guys at the dark hours tonight is going to spark some type of change or the cause and effect of something. So it's like because you're in the energy that you're in, it's going to have an effect and cause some type of change, like something like that. So let me do that last. And um, let me just get y'all another message from, from this deck, a Kipper message deck. Give me a message for Divine Feminine. All right, so this just flew out. Courtship change. <clears throat> so I don't know. Divine feminine, this karma could be your your spouse. Y'all divorce could be final. Y'all could have been married for 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 years or something like that. Um some of you guys could have been married to your karmic. Um and y'all y'all could be separating or y'all divorce could be final or y'all moving out. Um Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been your neighbor for the past 10, 20, 30 years. And Divine Feminine, you're moving or the karmic could be moving. Some type of courtship. This change could be um, a change of residence. Somebody's moving. Um, if Divine Feminine, if you and the karmic is making like amends after dark hours tonight, It, divine feminine, whatever your relationship is to this karmic, it might be getting like more on a serious level. So it's like divine feminine, say like you've known this karmic for the past 10 years. And um, this karmic was your neighbor. And it's like divine feminine, you, you, you used to just say hi and bye to this karmic. You never gave this karmic your phone number. It's like that might change after dark hours tonight. It's like divine feminine, um, you might give the karmic your phone number. Like, y'all might become more, like, it's like y'all, you guys are going to go from being acquaintances to, like, friends or something like that. Yeah, you, yeah, and it don't have, the karmic don't have to be your lover, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you could be opening up to this karmic. You're starting to trust this karmic a little bit more or something like that. So this change could be a change of resonance or somebody got a change of mind, a change perspective. Or Divine Feminine, you and this karmic might have a conversation. So Divine Feminine, the karmic might ask you, why you don't never speak to me when you see me? Or why you behave as if you don't know me? Why you keep it short with me? Why you keep your distance from me? And Divine Feminine, what might change is you're actually going to let the karmic know why you keep it casual with them. Like something like that. 
Yeah, the karmic could be wondering why you do this and why you do that, why you treat them a certain type of way or something like that. Or somebody's moving. Or this could be a divorce. Divine Feminine, if you was married to this karmic, it's like y'all marriage went from a commitment to like a courtship. So this could have been y'all sleeping in separate rooms. Um, Y'all could have had an open relationship towards the ending of y'all marriage or y'all relationship or something. It's like Divine Feminine, y'all could have been living together, but you had your lover and your your um this karmic had their lover. Like something, it was a courtship. All right, give me a couple message for the karmic. Occupation. So the right family, this karmic could be your coworker, or this karmic could be um, the karmic could be changing residence, or the karmic could be changing their perspective about something because of their career. Yeah. So I'm gonna give an example. The right family say like you have kids. And the karmic was your neighbor, but the karmic don't have kids. And it's like the karmic went to school to be a teacher. And maybe today, earlier today was the karmic's like first day on the job as a teacher. It's like the mind feminine, because of the karmic's occupation, now the karmic understand you as a parent because of the karmic's occupation. So the mind feminine, the karmic could have been judging you, prejudging you. Um, it was something about you, Divine Feminine, that this karmic didn't understand. But because of some type of occupation, it's like the karmic has a changed perspective concerning you. Yeah, so something like that. Well, this karmic could be moving away because of a job. Or something like that. Yeah, this karmic could have been anybody to you, Divine Feminine. It could have been a family member, a friend, a lover. A neighbor, a co-worker. All right. So give me a message for Divine Feminine with this courtship and change. So some type of courtship Divine Feminine is changing. This courtship is either getting tighter. Or you guys could just be going your separate ways. And when I say tighter, I mean it could go from a courtship to an actual like friendship, a relationship or something like that. All right, give me a message for Divine Feminine. With a courtship and with this courtship and change. What's the message? What is the message for Divine Feminine? Your name holds power. Yeah. So Divine Feminine, it could be a situation. This karmic is learning to like respect you, or this karmic is just like might forgive you or something. And for some of y'all, this karmic could have had you in a jar for years and the karmic might like get rid of this jar or break the curse or stop this foolishness or whatever it is. But Divine Feminine, a courtship is changing because your name holds power. So Divine Feminine, you could have been working at this job for like 10, 20 years and the whole 10, 20 years, this karmic was trying to get you fired or something like that. But it's like Divine Feminine... In the midst of the karmic trying to get you fired, it's like this karmic is relocating because your name holds power. So this karmic was like trying to overthrow you and got overthrown, overthrown or something like that. Or this, yeah. What's the message for the karmic for this occupation? Yeah, star seed. So, Divine Feminine, you could all, this karmic could be a star seed. Divine Feminine, you could be a star seed. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic could have ran into a star seed today. It's like Divine Feminine said like you a star seed and you weird to the karmic. The karmic never met nobody like you. It's like today at the karmic's job, the karmic's employer or co-worker is going to remind the karmic of you. And then it's like the karmic going to realize that you're not like as crazy as they thought you was. Because there's other people in this world like you or something. Yeah, this karmic could have met a star seed today because of their occupation. <clears throat> so I'm 
like that going on. Or it's like Divine Feminine, you a star seed. I also heard Divine Feminine, you could be a star seed. And this karmic used to judge you. And this karmic gonna find out that their child is a star seed or something like that. Something like that going on. Something happened or transpired, Divine Feminine, between you and this karmic. And this karmic got like enlightened about you. Or this karmic um have like a, a better respect for you or something like that. Something going on with the star seed, and it could be concerning the karmic work or occupation. Or it's like this karmic could be a star seed. And divine feminine, you could be different from the karmic. Maybe you're not a star seed. And this karmic used to judge you because you wasn't like them or something like that. Or divine feminine, I'm also picking up this karmic is a star seed. And because this karmic is a star seed, divine feminine, this karmic assumed that their their the war that they they raged against you, the karmic just assumed that it was going to work because they're a star seed. So this karmic could also be getting getting an understanding that your name holds power. So it's like, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, this karmic could be getting an understanding about something. So I don't know, Divine Feminine, if this karmic thought you was an easy target because they're a star seed and this karmic was thinking that they were blessed and you wasn't and they was the only one protected and you wasn't or whatever this is. On the flip side of that, what I heard is um Divine Feminine, you could also be a star seed. And you could be helping the karmic realize they're a star seed. Or this karmic is a a, a star seed. And um the right feminine, this karmic could be helping you out in some type of way. Because they're a star seed and they could be helping you out in some type of way. So the other scenario I'm picking up on is the right feminine. You you don't have an issue with this with this karmic. Um the karmic could be put in your life to help you out in some type of way. Or something like that. All right. I also just saw Divine Feminine. If you're moving or you relocated maybe earlier today or you've been at your new location for a while now, maybe a month or maybe a week. Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your neighbor. A new neighbor. And this karmic could be a star seed. All right. So the wife under this comment might welcome you into the neighborhood or ring your doorbell or something, something like that. Or my, I heard break the ice. The comment might break the ice with you or something. All right. What's going on with the wife feminine after dark hours tonight? What's going on with the wife feminine? Passion. So some type of passion to say, light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. Okay, so Divine Feminine, you have a deep desire, and you're very confident. Some type of desire you have, it's a deep desire, whether it's in work, love, or life. Light up your life by honoring your deepest desires. So Divine Feminine, for some of you guys, you might have to defend yourself about your beliefs or something. You might have to defend yourself. Yeah, or something like that. And what I mean, defend yourself, I don't mean physically. I mean, it's like Divine Feminine, you could be talking to this karmic. Um, and you could be talking about a sensitive topic. And Divine Feminine, the karmic could say, oh, Divine Feminine, don't feel like that. Or don't do that, Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine, you're going to say, no, I am doing it like that. I'm doing it like that. Like something like that. I heard Divine Feminine, you're going to get loud. Because you have a desire or some type of passion about something. All right, what's going on with the karmic? Or oh, you getting loud with somebody, divine feminine? It might not be the karmic. Okay, we have success. 
for the karmic. So it say today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So I don't know. Divine Feminine, maybe the karmic is the new kid on the block. And you could be welcoming the karmic into your neighborhood or something. Or this karmic could be new on a job or something. Divine Feminine, you new to something or this karmic is. This is work or like a neighborhood or, or something. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Helpful people show up for you. So, Divine Feminine, you could be the helpful person showing up for the karmic. And unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So, Divine Feminine, I don't know. You could be the one welcoming the karmic to your neighborhood or something. And you might be bringing the karmic a gift. And the karmic is like, oh, I don't want it. Divine Feminine, you like, yes, you're taking it. <laughs> or something like that. You're taking this gift. <laughs> So, um, Divine Feminine, maybe you don't have kids and the karmic do. And Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your new neighbor and you be hearing this karmic yelling, screaming at their kids. So Divine Feminine, you might bring this karmic a bottle of wine or something. And this karmic going to say, oh, I don't drink or I don't need it. Divine Feminine, you going to say, yes, you do. <laughs> Take this bottle. <laughs> Or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, you be hearing this karmic and her husband fighting or something all the time. Or something like that going on. Or Divine Feminine, maybe you do got kids. And this karmic do too. And this karmic trying to act like everything all peaches and creamy. And then want to talk about, oh, she don't want to drink. Or, yeah, this Divine Feminine, you going to say, yes, you do. <laughs> or this karmic kid is bad or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because Divine Feminine, whatever you're talking about or whatever this is, you're very confident. It's like Divine Feminine, you know what you're talking about. You ain't going crazy. This karmic probably want to keep something professional or keep something on a hush hush. And Divine Feminine, you like, no, them kids be driving you crazy. <laughs> Take this bottle of wine or something. Yeah, Divine Feminine, I heard you know what this karmic needs. Like, you know what you, you, Divine Feminine, you know what you're talking about. Or something like that. I heard this could be anything. Divine Feminine, you could be trying to give this karmic something. It could be anything. So, it's like Divine Feminine, say like, this karmic could be your child. Your adult child. And it's like Divine Feminine, maybe your, your adult child could be moving out. And, um, Divine Feminine, you could be trying to give your child, like, a lot of some money. Or you're giving, something you're giving your child, Divine Feminine. And your child, like, oh, mommy, daddy, I don't need it. Divine Feminine, you like, yes, you do. You gonna need this money. Yes, you do. And take it. Or something. Yeah, something like that. And when I say, when I talk about people, kids, are concerned, and I'm going to always say it because I don't want nobody to take offense. When I'm talking about children, even adult children, like your adult child, when I call your adult child a karmic, I'm not talking about their behavior. It don't always have to be the behavior in someone. Um, it could be because of age and time, the reason why a person is considered a karmic. Um, yeah, it could be just because of age or something like that. All right, so what's changing for Divine Feminine this week because of this passion? What? Okay, so we say welcome to new. We say, yeah, some of y'all talking, y'all having a conversation or something. All right. I'm also picking up Divine Feminine. You're telling the karmic to follow your lead. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your new friend or something. And Divine Feminine, the karmic is... In your neck of the woods. And Divine Feminine, this could be something like y'all getting pulled over by the police. And it's like Divine Feminine, you could be telling the karmic, when, when the cops come to the car, give them eye contact. Just, you know, give them eye contact. 
And this karmic like, no, I don't want a divine feminine. You like, oh yes, you is. You, you, you gonna do exactly what I say. Cause I know how this how the cops are in my area. I know how these cops are in our in, in this town. So when this cop get up to this car, give them eye contact or something like that. <laughs> something like that going on, divine feminine, some type of passion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so because um divine from the energy you're in after our hours tonight, the changes that you can experience sometime this week is some type of newness. You're welcoming the new this karmic could be a, your new neighbor or something, divine from Dietary change came out in reverse. So I don't know, divine from this karmic could be telling you to stop drinking or something, divine from you like no. <laughs> Um, body changes came out in reverse. So the mind from the discarmic could be trying to tell you something about your diet. You eating too much. You don't eat enough. You drink too much liquor or something, or you shouldn't drink wine, something. So it's like divine feminine. I'm hearing what you can expect is exactly what you said is going to happen or something is going to play out how you know it's going to play out. So that could be the disagreement between you and this karmic or something. So the mind feminine say like you're eating a lot of food. You and the karmic could be out to eat or y'all chilling. Y'all could be socializing because y'all new neighbors. Or this karmic is your new co-worker or something. Or your new lover. I don't know. Um, it's like the mind feminine, the karmic is like you're eating too much. Are you sure you should be eating like that? And the mind feminine, you telling the karmic, oh, I'm all right. Because um, all I got to do is walk for like three hours. Um, for, for a week and I lose the weight because I know my body. It's like the right feminine, this karmic want to argue with you about something you're confident about. So it's like the right feminine, the changes that you can expect is you're welcoming the new, welcome the new, something like that. That could be the karmic. The karmic could be new to you or some type of doctrine or the karmic's opinion. Something the karmic is saying or doing could be new to you. But what you can also expect is dietary changes coming out in reverse and body changes coming out in reverse. So this is not going to happen. Some type of dietary change or body change is not going to happen. Or something like that. And then we got emotions coming out in reverse. Or maybe the, the cards that's in the reverse might go in the upright. Or Divine Feminine, you could be telling the karmic that they pregnant. And the karmic is like, no, I'm not. And Divine Feminine, you like, watch. Watch. Watch what I tell you. And it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic sometimes this week might start like getting morning sickness. Boobs might start hurting. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could be telling this karmic they pregnant and they don't want to believe you. Somebody trying to tell somebody something. So those are the changes you can experience, Divine Feminine, this week. Because of the energy you're in. You're passionate, passionate about something. Yeah. But Divine Feminine, I'm picking up some. This karmic could be trying to tell you something. Or Divine Feminine, maybe the karmic could be telling you that you need to eat more. Or something. But dietary changes is in reverse. So it's like divine feminine. You're not going to experience a dietary change or a body change. And your emotions is like going to remain the, the same. So it's like divine feminine. You're emotional about something. But you're not. It's like divine feminine. You got a I don't give a damn attitude. Or this is like you being confident. You're not being emotionless. You're just confident about something. So something going on with you, Divine Feminine, is not up for debate or you're very confident or something. Yeah. So it's like, Divine Feminine, whatever you're doing after dark hours tonight, you're going to be doing it for the rest of the week. And you're not changing your mind, your perspective, your, your, your diet is not changing, your body is not changing, and your emotions is staying the same about something. Something like that. All right, what can the karmic expect? What changes can the karmic expect this week because of this success energy? 
So keep the faith. Yeah. It's a reverse. Give me one more for the comment. Yeah, religion and spirituality. Yeah, divine feminine, you and this karma could be having a conversation or something. After the hours tonight. So divine feminine, you could be saying something like, we all gotta die someday. So maybe this karmic is like um the karmic could be big on wellness and um eating right, taking care of your body, vitamins, exercising, and things like that. And divine feminine, you might say to the karmic, we all gotta die, we all gotta die someday. Or it's like divine feminine, the karmic could be trying to tell you, don't do this or don't do that. You're putting your life in danger. And divine feminine, you gonna tell this karmic, I know about 10, 20 people that exercised every day, took their vitamins, did this, did that, and all of them dead. And I eat my chocolate, I do this, I do that, and I'm still living. So something like that is going on. So the right feminine, this karmic might see something from your perspective. So what could be going on with the karmic is, what might be changing with the karmic is the karmic not keeping the faith. Or the karmic is going to lose their faith in something. So the right feminine, you might, what I'm picking up too, you might, I don't know, it depends. The right feminine, for some of y'all, I'm picking up, don't argue with this karmic. Because it's like you're going to become a stumbling block for this karmic. Because y'all can have different beliefs or something. So what's going to change for this karmic is this karmic might change their faith or change their faith because of something you said, Divine Feminine. Or this karmic might lose their faith in something. Oh, okay. So Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been doing spell work on you. So if it's not after dark, I was tonight, Divine Feminine. Sometime this week, this karmic gonna let you out this jar or something. <laughs> the karmic gonna let go of something. The karmic was had you in a jar or something. And then we got religion and spirituality. Yeah. So the karmic might stop doing dark magic or something. Um, sometime this week, and get more re something about religion or spirituality. Yeah, something like that. That's changing with the karma. <clears throat> so it's like what I'm also picking up too, divine feminine. You might be nice to this karma. Um, this karma could be like a known enemy to you, and you might approach the karma and make peace with this karma, and it might scare this karma a little bit. So it's like divine feminine. Say like you're aware this karma had you in a jar. It's like divine feminine. You might go up to the karma and. Um, make amends with the karmic, uh, might maybe bring the karmic a bottle of wine or something like that. Or something, something going on between you and that karmic. But whatever going on, divine feminine, it's like you convince the karmic to like, let something go or stop being so hateful or to trust you or something like that. Something going on between you and this karmic. All right. Yeah, but for some of y'all, this karmic had y'all in a jar or was doing dark magic or spell work on you. And it's like after dark hours tonight, it's like the karmic gonna do it tonight or like sometime this week. The karmic gonna stop doing spell work on you. And it could be because of your confidence, divine feminine. Divine feminine, for some of y'all, I'm picking up this karmic could be your lover. And he does um Love spells on you. Divine Feminine, you and this karmic could even be talking about it. And Divine Feminine, you could really be telling this karmic that you love them. Like, you could be telling this karmic, I love you. Y'all could be having an open conversation about this or energetically. It's like Divine Feminine, you almost got the karmic convinced that you love them for them. And the karmic is like, okay, let me stop doing this love magic, this spell work. And let me see if Divine Feminine really love me without the love magic or the glamour spells or the sex magic. Like something like that. I also heard Divine Feminine, if this karmic is like your lover, this karmic be doing something, some type of ritual or something. 
And it's like the right feminine. When usually when a karmic do this ritual on you, you like give this karmic something. It could be sex, it could be money, it could be gifts. The karmic does some type of spell work or dark magic on you to get you to give them things. But what I'm picking up after dark hours tonight is the right feminine. This karmic didn't do this spell work. They could have forgot or whatever. Or they just wasn't in the mood or the karmic was testing the waters. So after dark hours tonight, divine feminine, this karmic didn't do no type of spell work or nothing on you. And, um, or the karmic probably didn't do it in a while. It could have been a while, like over time. And it's like divine feminine, you're still being who you are. Like you could be giving this karmic a gift or something. Or telling this karmic how much you love them or how much you care about them. And this karmic is realizing that there's no need for them to do a love spell on you, a glamour spell, like something like that. Something like that going on. All right. All right. What's going on with the right feminine with this passion? The seven of swords. Damn. So I don't know. The right feminine, you could be having a conversation with this car mate. And you could be telling the karmic, I'm 100% sure you're you're doing something. You're offending me. You do dark magic. You're doing something. I'm 100% so I'm 100% sure. And yes, I want a divorce. I want this. I'm 100% sure that we should have never got married. This shouldn't have never happened. Or something. So the my feminine, you could be going um you could be have a great desire or passion about um Getting yourself out of a karmic cycle. It could be the seven of swords. Somebody lying, cheating, still and trying to get away with or get trying to get away with something. So you could be trying to get away from this karmic, or you're trying to get this karmic to stop lying or something like that. So the right family, you could be an air sign, got air in your chart, or you dealing with an air sign. Theft, betrayal, dishonesty, running away, divorce, and a fear, deception, trickery. Will of Fortune, yeah. So, Divine Feminine, you or somebody else could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces. Or somebody got those signs in their chart. Yeah, somebody, this karma could be lying about something. Or Divine Feminine, you trying to get away from something or someone. So, you can get good luck. So good fortune, a turning point, gambling, cycles, change, fate. The star, yeah. So somebody could definitely be a an Aquarius. The vice family, you could be an Aquarius. The karmic could be an Aquarius. Or somebody got Aquarius in their chart. The star. Renewal, hope, inner clarity, miracles, faith, rejuvenation. Divine Feminine, you could be very confident that you can get away with something. Divine Feminine, you could be very confident that you're on the verge of some type of breakthrough. Or Divine Feminine, you're very confident on how to heal yourself or heal the karmic or something like that. It's like Divine Feminine, the Seven of Swords could be somebody getting away with something that they should get away with. Or getting away from somebody that they need to get away from. So, Divine Feminine, you saying this to yourself or you saying something to the karmic? I'm absolutely sure that a separation is the best thing that we need to heal. So, Divine Feminine, you could be telling the karmic that it's best for y'all, you guys, to have space. Divine Feminine, if this karmic is your child, you're telling this karmic, I know it's the best thing for you to go to college on campus. We need time apart. Um... You need to meet new people. You should go to school and stay on campus. So the right feminine, maybe on campus costs more. But the right feminine, you telling this karmic, it's the best thing for you and me. We need space. You need to meet new friends. You're staying on campus or something like that. 
It's like divine feminine. You already know what it's going to take to get some type of healing. Or it's like you already know this karmic a liar or be lying. Or this karmic done um lied to you, stole from you, or cheated you. Or something. Or divine feminine, you know this karmic be lying to keep an image. So the seven of swords, like I said, divine feminine, this karmic, it's like this karmic be going crazy. This karmic could be your neighbor. Always yelling at her kids, fussing and screaming and yelling. And you try to bring this karmic a bottle of wine. And the karmic like, oh, I don't need that. And the divine feminine, you like, yes, you do. Or something. All right, what's going on with this karmic with success? Divine feminine, you could be giving this karmic some type of gift. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles. So yeah, so this karmic could be the the, the 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 newcomer of something. This karmic is just a page or divine feminine. This karmic could be your child, your adult child or something. So the karmic could be an earth sign, dealing with an earth sign, got earth in a chart. A Capricorn towards or Virgo. A patient kid, a new a new job or raise, family or money news, ambition, desire, diligence. Yeah. So the right feminine, this karmic could be a beginner at something. And you could be blessing this karmic, giving this karmic some type of gift or something. Or divine feminine, you could just be donating to the karmic, or this karmic could be somebody that you connected with um, on social media. Divine feminine, this karmic um could have set up a GoFundMe page or something. And you're going to donate or invest into the karmic. Because the karmic is a beginner in something. Yeah. Or this karmic could be a new mother. This karmic could be a mother as well. Yeah, this karmic, this could be the karmic's first child or something. Or the karmic could be on baby number two. This is the karmic's first child or the karmic. This could be the karmic's first experience with having more than one child. So the karmic, this is the karmic's first child, or the karmic is on baby number two. Like something like that. Clarify the page of pentacles. Or like I said, I picked up divine feminine. You telling this karmic they pregnant and they don't want to believe you. And they are, yeah. Then we got the ten of swords. So, again, the karmic could be an air sign dealing with an air sign. Got air in a chart. Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Yeah. Divine feminine, this karmic could feel betrayed by your honesty. Um, this karmic feel betrayed. Divine feminine, this karmic kind of like feel like you humiliated them in the past. Or they feel like that after dark hours tonight. I'm also picking up the page of pentacles with the ten of swords. The karmic could be embarrassed. But it's like the karmic is going to humble themselves. So divine feminine, say like you and this karmic worked together for 10, 20 years. And the whole time y'all worked together, this karmic was trying to get you fired. It's like divine feminine, after dark hours tonight, you're witnessing the karmic. The karmic could be getting fired or the karmic is relocating because they, they're working somewhere else. It's like divine feminine, you're going to give this karmic a gift. And it's like this karmic gonna feel ashamed of themselves because this karmic know what they was doing to you. It's like divine feminine, you wasn't trying to get this karmic fired. You wasn't doing no type of spell work against this karmic. And it's like you wishing the karmic a farewell, but you're gonna you might give this karmic a gift or something. And this it could be the karmic's conscience. Or divine feminine, this karmic gonna start being nice to you, or they're gonna start appreciating you. Yeah, so the karmic might feel betrayed because you're being nice to them or they're like ashamed of themselves or something. Clear by the ten of swords. Then we got the four cups. This 
Easter. Camera. So the karmic could be a water sign dealing with a water sign. I got water in a chart. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. A apathy. And I don't even know if I'm saying that word right. Apathy, apathy, feeling unfulfilled, contemplation, disconnectedness. <coughs> the wife from the I'm picking up, you make this karmic feel empty but whole at the same time. I don't know exactly what this is. So maybe divine from the you make the karmic feel whole because you gave the karmic something that they needed. It could have been money. It could have been a car. Some type of gift. But it's like the karmic feel empty because they know they wrong. This karmic was trying to do you wrong. So it's like the karmic feel whole, but they at the same time they feel empty. Yeah, something. Or well, it's like, the, I don't know. Yeah, something like that going on. Yeah. Divine Feminine, after dark hours tonight, this karmic is um, being harmonious to, to towards you. So whatever the beef was, whatever the karmic issue was against you, um, the karmic is actually going to see something from your perspective and be gentle towards you. So something like that going on. And divine feminine, this could also be you telling the karmic to admit it. Just admit it. I know you had me in the jar. <laughs> something like that. Divine feminine, this karmic gonna feel ten swords. They're gonna feel like ten swords. Divine feminine, you very passionate. You like nah, seven swords. You tried to seven the swords me. And divine feminine, you confident. This karmic. Maybe at first Divine Feminine, this karmic was calling, calling you crazy. But it's like Divine Feminine, you passionate. You like, no. Nah. I know what I know. I know what I saw. I know what I heard. Uh-uh, karmic. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. All right. Give me this spill with passion with Divine Feminine. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So this gorgeous energy, divine feminine, could be your physical appearance. You could be physically gorgeous. Or um, it could be your personality, your spirituality. That's gorgeous. Or divine feminine, you the one that could be into health and taking care of yourself. You're passionate. And divine feminine, maybe the karmic drink too much wine and you might give the karmic a gift, a bottle of water or something. <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's like divine feminine, you could be very passionate about people's appearance, your health, your body, taking care of your body. And you might gift this karmic with like a makeup kit, some water, um... And Divine Feminine, you're sincere. You don't mean this in no type of harm, nothing. Whatever you're gifting the karmic with, this is your passion. So it's not like you're trying to demeanor the, demeanor the karmic or embarrass the karmic. It's nothing like that. It's like Divine Feminine, say like your, um, your passion is vitamins. It's like Divine Feminine, you're so passionate about vitamins. You give your enemy uh, vitamins. You'll give your enemy um, a consultation and a friend a consultation. It's like divine feminine. It don't matter to you. This is your passion. That's what you like to do, to feel whole. To That's your calling. So something like that. All right. What's this for with the seven of swords? Yeah, Mary. So, Divine Feminine, you could be, um, Divine Feminine, this karmic could be your soon-to-be ex, or you might marry this karmic or something. Um, Divine Feminine, you, you and this karmic could have been lying about your marriage. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic was lying to you about a marriage. Um... 
or divine feminine. You could be telling the karmic, I'm not the one for you, but I know who your person is. I know who your person is or something. Yeah, something like that. Something, something, somebody was lying, cheating, still trying to get away with something. Trying to say they was married or they wasn't married or... Divine feminine, if this karmic is a man, he could have been trying to convince you that he your divine masculine. Or you should marry him or y'all should stay married or something. And divine feminine, you like, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Or something. Divine feminine, this karma. Mm. Divine feminine, this karma has something twisted. Yeah. What's the spill with the will of fortune? Yeah, acting a fool came out in reverse. Divine Feminine, you could be giving this karmic karma for lying to you. Or something like that. Or it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic is getting the karma they deserve and you're getting the karma you deserve. It's like Divine Feminine, the will could be turning in your favor. You're getting away from this karmic in like a marriage. Or you could be trying to divorce this karmic or your divorce could be final. And you're stepping into some type of newness. Um, you might be getting a blessing that this karmic is not getting. Because you wasn't acting a fool. So the karmic could be trying to say, why you get this and I didn't get it. Or something like that. Or what, how are you be how are you able to go towards this and I can't? And that's because the divine feminine, you wasn't acting a fool. So the divine feminine, you could be also breaking ties with this karmic. Because this karmic could be married or this karmic be lying about something. This karmic probably commit fraud or something. And the divine feminine, you could be separating from this karmic. Because it's like divine feminine, you don't want that karma. Or something. Or divine feminine, this karmic could be your ex. And they want to like get remarried to you. And divine feminine, you like, uh-uh. No. Mm -mm. Or something like that. What's the spill with the star? Somebody's getting good luck because they wasn't acting a fool. Cause and effect. The will of fortune. And somebody's a star or somebody's popular or divine feminine. I don't know if this karmic was trying to figure out how is it that you still have a good reputation and they don't. This karmic could have lied on you in the past. Did a glamour spell. Uh, reverse the psychology, all that. And it's like Divine Feminine, you still have your reputation about you. People still like you and things like that. And Divine Feminine, it's because you wasn't acting a fool. That's why you the star or something like that. Yeah, one-sided love. Yeah. Somebody's getting good fortune, a turn of events. Somebody's getting what they deserve because they wasn't acting a fool. And this karmic was. So, <clears throat> like I said, this could be like a, some type of form of dark magic spell work. I also see divine feminine. This karmic going to stop doing spell work on you because the karmic is realizing it's not working. Because you're still getting the star energy after dark hours tonight. Or you're still the star. So, it's like the karmic like. I might as well stop doing this because it's not even working. The Divine Feminine still don't love you. Yeah. I don't know if this, this karmic probably wanted to marry you or something, Divine Feminine. And this karmic used to do spell work, spell work. This karmic wanted you to chase them and love them. And this karmic wanted you to be attracted to them or something. And it wasn't working. I'm hearing free will. It's like divine feminine. Whatever type of spell work or dark magic the karmic was doing to you, it was like stronger than your your 
I mean, your confidence and or your free will was stronger than a karmic spell work or manipulation. Or the will of fortune is stronger than a karmic spell work or dark magic. It's either one or the other. Your confidence and or your free will was stronger than this dark magic or this spell work or it's the will of fortune. That trump the karmic spell work or dark magic. I'm also picking up divine feminine. You and this karmic always going back and forth. Y'all debate. Y'all have this disagreements. Y'all always do this or y'all going to do this after dark hours tonight. And divine feminine, the karmic is going to be the one to back down. The karmic might be the one to back down. So divine feminine, if you was asking for a divorce, this karmic will finally sign on papers after dark hours tonight or something like that. Because it's like the will of fortune, what could be changing is that this karmic not going to act a fool. Or divine feminine, if this karmic is your lover or something, and you was trying to get him to admit that he lied about a marriage, this karmic might actually break down and tell you the truth that he lied and he's actually married. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, something. So the wife from there, this karmic is a man. It's like the wife from there, this man don't realize that he was the page the whole time. And you knew something? It's like this man was thinking he the king of wands. In his mind, he thought he was the king of wands. The wife from there, this man could have been fake, fake flexing. And it's like the whole time, Divine Feminine, you knew he was the page. And he wanted you to think he was the king of wands. And this man, a page. Yeah. Or something. Or it's like Divine Feminine, this karmic, he could be your son. And maybe he was married, Divine Feminine, and he didn't want you to know that um, him and his wife could have divorced. So the wife from the your adult child could have been fronting. He didn't want you to know that he lost his job. He didn't have no money. He was struggling. Yeah, but it's like the wife from the you knew. Yeah, this karma could be your adult son. And you might gift him with something. Because he didn't want you to know he was struggling or his marriage failed or something like that. The wife from the your son can have a real big ego. I mean, rightfully so to a certain extent, because he a man. He did, he probably didn't want to bother you too much, Divine Feminine, with his financial woes. Or, Divine Feminine, maybe your child or this lover, whoever this karmic is, they don't like the fact that you're intuitive. So it's like this person like to like just disagree with you just to disagree with you. Something. Whoever this karmic is. What's this spill with the page of place with um success? The 10th house. So this karmic could be a definitely be a Capricorn dealing with a Capricorn or got Capricorn in the chart. We got the page of pentacles in the tenth house. Yeah, somebody could definitely be a Capricorn. This situation involves someone's ambition, their motives, their rank in society, achievements, accolades, social class. Yeah, divine feminine. I think you might give this karmic some money. If this karmic got like a GoFundMe page set up. Divine Feminine, you might give the karmic all the money. So, Divine Feminine, say like this karmic had like a GoFundMe page for $2,000. It's like Divine Feminine, you're just going to give the karmic the $2,000. <laughs> yeah, because it's like Divine Feminine, you know the karmic is like working towards something. Something to do with the karmic's 10 tiles or something like that. It's like Divine Feminine, you're not going to donate $10, $50. You're just going to give the karmic the $2,000. And get it out the way. Or something like that. Or Divine Feminine, you could have did that to the karmic in the past. And maybe... Divine Feminine, you could have helped the karmic in the past. And you kept your name anonymous or something. And it's like Divine Feminine, the karmic could be confronting you. And they like, why you didn't tell me it was you or something? Divine Feminine, you helping this karmic out in the past and or after dark hours tonight. But some of y'all, I heard anonymous. So Divine Feminine, you could have kept, when you helped out this karmic, you could have kept it anonymous or something like that. You didn't want fame. You didn't want fortune. You didn't want popularity. You were sincerely just helping the karmic because that's your, your passion or something. 
or something like that. What's this filled with the tennis woods? Yeah, the rings. Yeah, divine coming to this karmic. Divine coming now. I also just heard whatever the karmic was doing to you. Somebody did it to the karmic. It's like divine feminine. Say like the karmic was in the process of trying to get you fired. Somebody's actually going to successfully get this karmic fired. Like something like that. So it's like the karmic ten swords. Somebody betrayed this karmic. And it could have been the karmic's karmic. It's like the karmic had a karmic divine feminine or something like that. Hating on your beliefs, not liking that you're untraditional, uncomfortable with your spirituality. <clears throat> so divine feminine, this karmic is either deranged or they was trying to say you deranged. Or your spirituality is deranged or something. I also heard this karmic got to start over. Divine feminine, this karmic could be your lover or your ex. This karmic could be going through a divorce. He could be bankrupt. And it's like, divine feminine, this karmic needs your help. But it's like, he might admit to you that he needs your help. But it's like, divine feminine, he lied. Up. You might find out he lied about a marriage or something. And it's like, divine feminine, you like, why are you in bankrupt? Why did you file for bankrupt? And this karmic going to be like, because of divorce or something. And divine feminine, you're not going to act a fool. This karmic might confess something to you after the hours tonight. And Divine Feminine, the old you, you probably would have acted a fool. But you're not going to act a fool. But the love is going to be one-sided. Yeah. Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karmic going to admit something to you. They could have lied about a marriage. Mm-hmm. Or something like that. So this karmic could feel betrayed. Or somebody betrayed this karmic and this karmic got to start over. Somebody could have broke into the karmic's house, stole something from the karmic. Um, the karmic, so I picked up the karmic is setting up a GoFundMe page. Because somebody did something to this karmic. So I don't know, somebody stole the karmic car. This could be a divorce. I don't know. But it's like divine family, you're going to gift this karmic with something. To help them out or something like that. What's this deal with the page of King schools? Yeah, evidence. Yeah, something gonna be obvious. The karmic is a beginner at something, and it's evident. Yeah. The karmic could also be trying to like um Make the karmic might make a GoFundMe page for a legal case. I see that too. The karmic could be in trouble legally, and they need money for a lawyer. The karmic probably need to, the karmic probably could be trying to hire a private investigator, and it's like the karmic is just at the beginning stages of something. Or it's like the my feminine when you stumble across the karmic GoFundMe page, it's like. You gonna see that somebody only do like the donations is only like two hundred dollars, or the donations is like fifty dollars. And divine feminine, you might just pay off the karmic's whole GoFundMe thing or something like that, because the karmic could be trying to get evidence or something. Yeah, this karmic could be going through something legally. Oh, okay. Oh, well, for the most part, that'll make anybody humble themselves. Somebody um, fighting for their freedom or fighting for their life or something. So this karmic either need GoFundMe for like a medical procedure or like a, a criminal case. And this karmic need help or something. Yeah. What's this spill with the four cups? Chilling, yeah. I'm also picking up divine feminine. The karmic might get distracted from being your karmic because the karmic got to deal with their own problems or something like that. Yeah. So divine feminine, it could be the ending of the karmic feeling rejected because you be chilling. So it's like the karmic might get their own peace of mind. So it's like the karmic gonna leave you alone. It's like the karmic was hating on you because you was chilling. 
And it could have been because of money. This karma, it's like divine feminine. This all this karmic wanted was from you was money. And this karmic was trying to say, oh no, I didn't want no money. And divine feminine, you like, yes, you did. Just admit it. You just only wanted money, karmic. <laughs> and yeah. This karmic felt rejected, divine feminine, because you was chilling. Divine Feminine, this karmic was coming up against you because you was being really comfortable in life, not wanting to do the most, fool in reverse, and you was at ease and at peace with the world. And that's why the karmic felt rejected. Or Divine Feminine, the karmic wanted you to feel rejected because they could have been fake flexing. So it's like, the, say like the karmic was trying to make you jealous. And Divine Feminine, this karmic used to still or whatever clothes it's like my family the karmic almost gonna end up in jail trying to make you jealous because they were still in clothes or something this karmic was trying to prove a point and was doing something that's gonna end up laying them in jail or something so either this karmic was feeling rejected because you was chilling or this karmic wanted wanted it to appear that they was chilling so you would feel rejected or something like that So the karmic's 10th house, somebody could be trying to bring the karmic's 10th house, house under attack or under scrutiny. And Divine Feminine, you could be helping this karmic out. So I don't know. Divine Feminine, you could be a lawyer or something. And this karmic needs your help. Or you gonna donate to the karmic's GoFundMe or something like that. Divine Feminine, I'm also picking up, you could be a lawyer. And you was interacting with this karmic in the past, but Divine Feminine, it was something about your spirituality or your religion, and the karmic um, could have fired you as their lawyer. Now, after dark hours tonight, it's like the karmic don't care what your religion is, your spirituality. It's like this karmic needs your help. This karmic don't care what your spirituality is. This karmic needs your help about something or something like that. All right, give me the scoop with passion and gorgeous. Divine from now, I also heard saw two in the cards. You could be a surgeon. Divine from you could be a surgeon or something. What I also see in the cards too, and it's funny how time, time, it's funny how time will do you. I'm going to give an example of what I see in the cards. Divine Feminine, say like 10 years ago, the karmic, y'all could, you and this karmic could be the same age or the karmic could be young, younger than you. But say like 10, 20 years ago, the karmic um, was against um, surgeons who did abortions or the karmic was against surgeons who did BBLs or the karmic was against like plastic surgery. This was 10, 20 years ago. It's like Divine Feminine, for the past 10, 20 years ago, because the karmic was against your um, career or something you stood for. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic could have did dark magic on you. Divine Feminine, say like you was out in public with this karmic and y'all was at like a abortion, um, a anti-abortion rally. It's like Divine Feminine, this karmic could have got your name and number and went home and did dark magic on you because you was like pro-abortion, like something like that. What I see going on now in the present, divine feminine, this karmic could be married, and this karmic done got, done got pregnant by another man, and divine feminine, this karmic reaching out to you, because this karmic want an abortion, but it's like she wanted, the karmic want to keep it a secret. It's like time done brought this karmic around, like, it's like now, this karmic like really need, need your services or something, because it's like this karmic in the situation after dark hours tonight. Yeah, it's like you could be like an uh, uh, an abortionist or divine feminine. You do surgery for stars or and maybe the karmic 10, 20 years ago, the karmic used to be like, I can't hate. I hate surgeons, uh, surgeons. I don't like those surgeons that do BBLs. And why would you get into a field and want to mess up people's body? Why would you do that? I don't like surgeons. I don't like this. I don't like that. 
Here we go. 10, 20 years later, it's like the karmic could be famous. And the karmic reaching out to you because they want a BBL or something like that. Yeah, this karmic was trying to get you fire. Or for some of y'all, this karmic put y'all in a jar or something. Because of your line of work or your passion, whatever you was passionate about. Or something. Yeah, this karmic could be pregnant by the, by the third. This karmic could be a female. And she was so against abortions. And she done got pregnant by uh, her third party. And now she want an abortion. Because life done put this karmic in a situation. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Now, my now this karmic trusts you. <laughs> now this karmic trusts that you won't leak their information. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, this karmic... Mm -hmm. This karmic could have also betrayed somebody else too. And this could have been her husband. Yeah, this karmic could have got pregnant by a different man. And now all of a sudden she want an abortion. But had you in a jar, Divine Feminine. Because you, <laughs> you pro-abortion or something. Yeah, life done did something to this karmic or something. Something like that going on. Life. That's what I'm hearing, life. Yeah, something like that. What's the scoop with passion and gorgeous? Yeah, Miss Peace, you are missing a major piece of the puzzle. Yeah. So this missing piece could be telling me divine feminine. The karmic could have been missing a major piece of the puzzle. It could have been your passion. It could have been your strength. It could have been your free will. It's like Divine Feminine, the same passion you got after the hours tonight. You had the same passion 10, 20, 30 years ago. You ain't never changed. And that's the piece the karma was missing. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you could be very passionate about um, your surgeries or something. You probably do surgeries or something. Something like that. Or some type of skin care or something. Or something to do with healthy eating, eating or vitamins or something. All right. And it's like divine feminine. Now this karmic, something could be going on with this karmic's health. And now they want your advice or your a consultation or something from you or something. All right. What's the scoop with the seven of swords with me? Let me put the scoop on this energy and then I'm going to be done. Purify, purify your energy and aura. Yeah, so the family, this karmic right might reach out to you, or y'all might just by coincidence run into each other. And this karmic wants to purify their energy and aura, and by asking, just like this karmic might humble themselves and ask for your help or something, or your expertise. Or divine feminine, you're going to have to purify your energy and aura because this karmic might confess to you a lie. Yeah, this karma might finally confess to you that they were actually married while y'all was dating or something. Yeah. So it's like divine feminine. Say like this karmic was your lover. And he gonna confess to you that he was married. He lied to you the whole time. Divine feminine, you not gonna act a fool. But you gonna say you gotta go. You gotta go. And like now, leave now. Yeah, divine friend, you got to purify your energy because this karmic was lying about being married. Yeah. And divine friend, that one of the reasons why you probably didn't act up was because of your occupation or your religion or your spiritual practices. And this karmic thought you was playing. So divine friend, that this karmic could have been testing you. So divine friend, it's like, this karmic could have told you that they were married on purpose just to just to test your passion. And Divine Feminine, you could be telling this karmic, I'm not going to put my hands on you for religious purposes, for spiritual purposes, or I've got to go to work. And um, not even you. I ain't going to jail for you or something like that. Divine Feminine, this karmic was testing your loyalty or your passion for whatever you're passionate about. Yeah, Divine Feminine, you selling this karma. I'm not going to act a fool. Yeah, because I got to go to work tomorrow. I love my job or something like that. Divine Feminine, you selling this karma. 
What's the school with the Wheel of Fortune and acting a fool on these ones? And it's like the it's like divine family. This karma can't do nothing but respect it. You're not acting a fool, but the love is one sided now. This could be you telling that karmic they gotta go. Yeah, and it's like divine family. This karmic just gonna have to go. Yeah, sure. The information or the situation may leave you shook. Yeah. So divine family, you might be shook by the turn of events. It's funny how the tables turn, turn. Like something like that going on. Divine family, this karmic might reach out to you. You gonna be shook. Or it's like divine feminine. You could be scrolling on social media and see the comments go funny page, and you're gonna be shook. Yeah. What's the scoop with the star and one sided love? Self reflection. Take a moment to reflect. I've been craving it's a um it's an egg roll. It's it's prime rib with onions and like cheese on the inside it on the inside. I've been craving them egg rolls since the first time I bought them. And it's like every time <laughs> I'm craving them right now. And every time I order them and then I get the I start eating them, I say to myself, why did I order these? <laughs> I'm like, why did I order these? Because it's like, they taste good, but it's like, I don't know. But I'm, I, I, I'm tasting them, um, I, I'm tasting them, um, egg rolls. And it's like, I crave them, but, but then when I order it, it's like, why did I order these? It's like, they good, but it's, they kind of like not, or maybe what I'll be trying to do is like, the first batch that I ordered the first time was more flavor. It had more flavor to it. So that's part, I don't know. But anyway, self-reflection. Take a moment to reflect. So the my family, that's how you probably feel about this karmic. Like how I feel about them um them egg rolls. <laughs> it's prime red. Um that's how you divine family, you like why? Why did I even give you the time of day or <laughs> why do I keep doing this? It's like Divine Feminine, you could be disgusted at yourself. Like I should have been let you go or Divine Feminine, you might even get into your ego a little bit and be like, why should I even help this karmic? Why? I'm something. All right, what's the scoop with success with this 10 house with this karmic over here? Yeah, caught up. Someone's actions are catching up to them. Yep. Somebody's actions done caught This karmic's actions, whatever they did in the past, or after the hours tonight, the karmic's actions are catching up to them, and now this karmic needs assistance. This karmic needs help, and I heard GoFundMe page. I heard a GoFundMe page. Yeah. Yeah. What's the scoop with the page of principles and evidence? Cleanse. Cleanse your space. <clears throat> yeah, the karmic know that they need to stop doing something. The vibe coming that if this karmic got you in a jar, this karmic know they need to stop. Yeah. So the right family, you're purifying your energy and the karmic is going to cleanse their space. Whatever this karmic was doing, lying, cheating, stealing, trying to get away with something, jar work, dark magic, this karmic know they need to stop. Yeah, then we got dead. Something has come to a complete end. Mm, yeah, it could be the karmic's credit. The karmic could have had to file for bankruptcy or something. Well, I don't know. Somebody set that karmic house on fire. What's the scoop with um, Ten of Wands, Spirituality here, and um, the range? I also heard and saw two. 
Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been trying to clear their space and you're not the negative energy and that's what set the karmic house on fire. Or whatever type of ritual the karmic was doing at home. But they was wrong. It's like Divine Feminine, I don't know if you was at the karmic's house. And then it's like when you left, the karmic tried to um, sage. Because of you, the karmic was thinking you the negative energy. And that's what caught the karmic house on fire. Uh, something. What's the school with the Ten of Wands, Spirituality, Hater, and the Range? Yeah, this karma was trying to save you. And it wasn't even you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> codependency. A codependent relationship is present. Yeah. Mm -mm. This karma has something wrong. Or Divine Feminine, you could have been right about something. So Divine Feminine, say like this karma is your adult son. And you told your son, don't marry that woman because she's only using you for money. It's like, Divine Feminine, you was right. And your son is having a hard time admitting it to you. Like, his karmic wife was, like, codependent on him or y'all. Yeah. Or it's like, Divine Feminine, say, like, in the past, you used to be saging. And the karmic didn't like that. And it's like after dark hours tonight, Divine Feminine, whatever the karmic going through, you're going to tell the karmic you need to sage. It's like Divine Feminine, the karmic might sage. Because it's like the karmic is at like their wits end or the karmic has been humbled. Like it's not going to kill. It's Divine Feminine, you might tell the karmic it's not going to kill you to sage. It's not going to kill you. Demons is not in the sage. Sage is not demonic <laughs> or something like that. Or something. Yeah, this karmic could have been around somebody that's deranged. And Divine Feminine, you telling this karmic, you better save your space. This could be the karmic's roommate or something. What's the scoop with the four cups and chilling? Blockages, yeah. Yeah. Divine Feminine, it's an ending to the karmic trying to cause you blockages. This karmic wanted you to be rejected, wanted you to feel rejected. This karmic um, probably used to threaten you and tell you they're going to leave you, divorce you, break up with you. Um, or Divine Feminine, this karmic could have been trying to get you fired. But that's coming to an end. Yeah, somebody lying. Yeah. So it's like Divine Feminine, you might find out the whole time you and the karmic was dating, they used to threaten you and say, I'm going to leave you, this, is and that. And it's like Divine Feminine, the whole time your this karmic was married. So it's like Divine Feminine, you might say to this karmic, leave me now. Now you have a reason to leave me because I know the truth about you. Now you may go. So Divine Feminine, maybe in the past when the karmic used to threaten you, oh, I'm leaving. I'm breaking up with you. Divine Feminine, you probably used to beg the karmic not to go. And it's like, now that you got the truth, this karmic was married. Divine Feminine, you going to say, now you can go. You can go. Or Divine Feminine, you leaving. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, this karmic could have always used to tell you, oh, I'm going to break up with you, this, is and that. Yeah. Or Divine Feminine, this karmic, if she a female, she probably wanted to take your lover. Or she was probably trying to get your lover to dump you. And it's like, after dark hours tonight, it's like this karmic. Whatever this karma was trying to do to you doesn't happen to them. So the right feminine, if this karma was trying to cause you a divorce or for your lover to leave you, this karma is going through a divorce, had to file for bankruptcy and all the whole shebang. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but something like that, this karma is being humble. That's basically what's happening. This karma is being humble. Um... I don't, I'm not picking up the karmic got an issue with you. The karmic is a little bit embarrassed, but not too much. The karmic is just happy to be being helped. It's like divine from this karmic is like, they feel a little bit embarrassed or ashamed of themselves, but overall this karmic is happy to be helped. So I don't know what this is. I don't know what's going on. So it's like, um, yeah. Yep, it's an ending to this karmic trying to cause you blockages, yeah. And obstacles. Oh, 
I also see too, the line from the, the karmic was at home doing something against you. And the karmic was instructed after the office tonight or maybe earlier or in the past, the recent past. Divine from the discarmic might call you and say, um, Divine from the explain to me what sage is again. How do you sage? Why do you sage? How much should I sage? And it's like divine feminine. This karmic is trying to, the karmic, unbeknownst to you, is in the process of like stopping their offense against you. But it's like this karmic got a nerve to call you though. They want to ask you like, where can I buy sage or so the right feminine say like the karmic had an altar at their house. They had you in a jar, whatever, whatever. It's like the right feminine, this karmic want to stop. But it's like they're going to call and ask you for advice. They're not going to tell you why they want sage. But they're doing this to like rid themselves of their own devil energy. So I don't know if the karmic, for some of y'all, the karmic might not tell you. Yeah, because the karmic's actions are catching up to them. So this karma like bump that. Let me take divine feminine out this jar. Yeah, because the karma getting karma. Yeah, something like that going on. And then this karma gonna reach out to you, divine feminine. Divine feminine, where can I buy sage? Or if you think somebody have um an evil entity on them and, and they left your house, how how long should I sage for like an evil entity? Or how long should I sage if I think somebody put me in a jar? It's like the wife from the Discord asking you questions because that's what they were doing to you. <laughs> like something like that. It's like this karmic don't want you to know they're getting karma, but they want your advice. <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. So that's what's going on after the hours tonight. So um the wife feminine and or the karmic. Um This is Blood Queen Tara. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And enjoy your night and thanks. Let me pull something real quick. Let me see what the karmic needs to do practical concerning you, Divine Feminine. What should the karmic be doing practical concerning Divine Feminine? Escape materialism. So, Divine Feminine, was this karmic trying to compete with you? Concerning material things. Or this karmic wanted you to know that they had more than you. Or this karmic could have been trying to get you fired. So you wouldn't have the ability to afford material things. It says shift your focus away, away from material. And develop a healthy inner world. Or the mind from that this karmic could have been trying to compete with you. And it, it's going to land this karmic in jail or something. Or a GoFundMe page or something like that. So that's what, that's what the karmic need to do. So the divine feminine, maybe you're successful or you're well off. And the karmic could have been jealous or the karmic wanted to compete with you because of your material, the things that you have. But it's like divine feminine, you have a lot of material things, but you're, you're not materialistic. And that's what the karmic could have been getting misunderstood. You could have a lot of material things, but you're not materialistic. Or something like that. Or well, divine from now, I heard you're just a good manifester. You're just a good manifester or something like that. So concerning you, divine feminine, for this karmic to stay out of trouble, this karmic need to escape materialism. The karmic need to shift, or this karmic was trying to get money out of you. Or this karmic wanted to marry you, but it was only for money. And divine feminine, you're going to be like, uh-uh. Divine feminine, you might call off a wedding. Yeah. Shift your focus away from material and develop a healthy inner world. So Divine Feminine, for some of y'all, this karma is a man. And he only wanted to marry you for money. Divine Feminine, I mean Divine Masculine, if you in your feminine energy, this karma could be a female. And you might call off the wedding. Because you know that this woman only want to marry you for money or something. Material things. Okay. What do Divine Feminine need to do practical regarding this karma? What is the suggestion from spirit? What? Should the divine feminine do? Be stronger than your excuses. Drop the excuses. When you drop all the excuses, you'll start seeing results. So divine feminine, I'm picking up. Why do you still have this karmic around? Or why do this karmic still got access to you? Divine feminine, you could be making excuses. 
or divine it's like divine feminine why haven't you confronted this karmic yet you making excuses about something divine feminine concerning this karmic when you drop all the excuses you'll start seeing results yeah something like that so that's what spirit is telling you to do practical don't make excuses for this karmic divine feminine or something like that Um, but I think you're already in this energy because the right feminine, I picked up strength on, on your side. I picked up st strength or it's like the right feminine, what you couldn't do, what you wasn't strong enough to do. The will of fortune did. So yeah, something. Yeah. Tell me more. Give me one more for the right feminine. What the right feminine should be doing practical concerning this karmic shadow work. Shadow work. Uncover every part of you that has been repressed and abandoned. So the wife, I don't know. For some of y'all, y'all probably felt as though you needed this karmic. So some type of shadow work, divine feminine. Yeah, because I picked up this a scenario, divine feminine. Um, this karmic might confess to you that they're married, and y'all could have been together for a while, and this karmic might confess to you that they're actually married. So, Divine Feminine, you probably need to do shadow work concerning your temperament. Or, Divine Feminine, you could have had abandonment issues. And um, you should have let this karmic go a long time ago. But you might get the strength to do it after the hours tonight. So, that's the shadow work you could be doing, letting this karmic go. Yeah. Divine Feminine, you could have been holding on to this karmic because you felt repressed or abandoned. Or you had repressed something. Or something like that. So the right family, you could have been making excuses about why you didn't let this karmic go. Or why you didn't want to let this karmic go or something like that. The right family, for some of y'all, this could be your child. The right family, you don't want to let your child go or something. Or something, which is understandable. So the right family, this could be you discussing with your child, like what college they're going to go to next year. And Divine Feminine, your child wants to stay home. And Divine Feminine, you know it's best for your child to do like... When they go off to co college, they need to stay on campus. Because Divine Feminine, you got shadow work to do. Yeah. Yeah. Or something like that. So for some of y'all, y'all could be planning for the future. And Divine Feminine, you know it's best for you to let your child go to college on campus. Or something like that. Yeah. So the wife family, you could have been what you call it, um, um it's like the wife family, you could have been using your child unconsciously or subconsciously to avoid doing shadow work or something like that. Or something. So anyway, let me end it. So and then we got avoid gossip. So let me end it. So, Divine Feminine and or the Karmic, enjoy the night and thanks.